Hello, 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 and welcome to another edition of Bobby Chu's video podcast. First, I'd like to answer a few uh, emails that I got. This one person asked me three really great questions, so I want to uh, address them. The first one is talking about finding the time to draw. This really should be more like finding the right motivation to get up earlier. Because that's all you need is to get up a little bit earlier. Even half an hour will do. You know, you go straight to drawing for half an hour before you go to work or whatever it is. And you're drawing for yourself. Now, if you thought about where this habit would lead you in life, if you were drawing consistently, because that is the key, it doesn't really matter how much you're drawing, as long as you don't keep drawing less and less. Instead, you know, even if it's half an hour, you stay with that half an hour and you draw on a constant basis, you've all of a sudden given yourself some good habits. And those good habits will turn into, you know, bumping up your art a few notches, a few levels, you know, over time. It's all about consistency. You can't draw a whole bunch and then take off two months. You can't do that. You know, you got to start off with something that is comfortable for you. And to get yourself up, to get yourself to turn off that TV, um, to spend a night at home, you have to have the right motivation. You have to think about where it is you feel like you can go with this if you keep drawing like this. Now, something that I do is when I wake up in the mornings, and you know, now I always wake up early, uh, first thing I'll do is I'll spend about 10 minutes, you know, this some my time, my own time, you know, by myself. And what I'll do is start thinking about all the things that makes me slack, all the things that makes me love drawing, and all the things that I think that I can get towards, you know, in five years from now. The successful you. So if you're in a nice place where you can you know, have some time to yourself, I'll tell you exactly what I do. Close your eyes and imagine this. Imagine the times in your life where you had art to do or you could be doing art, but instead you take the easy way out and you're slacking. It might be talking with your friends. It might be on MSN. You might be going shopping. You might be going out getting drunk. Whatever it is, picture that. Okay, watching TV, whatever it is. Picture yourself right now with your eyes closed. Picture yourself literally there doing those things that makes you slack. Hear the TV or whatever it is. Hear your friends there. See your friends there in living color. You're right there slacking right now. Okay, smell the smells that are going on. If you're drinking, then you smell the alcohol. Live, breathe, you are there right now. Picture it all as much as you can in vibrant, living color, sound, smell, everything. Okay, you're there. Now what I want you to do is I want you to take a step back out of yourself, out of body, so that you're just behind the person. And you could literally put your hand on that person's shoulder. See him or her slacking. Okay, now what I want you to do is let's take seven more steps back. Now you see yourself from about you know, 10 feet away. 
Now what I want you to do is make that whole scene black and white. The smells are gone, the sounds have quieted down, and you just see yourself as this wall. You know, that whole scene has become this black and white wall. Now what I want you to do is step back even further. Step back five steps. And now I'm going to take this wall. I'm going to crop it. Shrink it down. So now it's it looks more like a picture. It looks like a black and white picture. Put a frame on it. Hang it up. This is one of your art pieces. A f photographed art piece. Underneath this black and white photo of yourself slacking is the title Slacker. You see that person wasting that time, all the potential in the world, but wasting that time doing things that will not help the person in the long run. When they know that they have that opportunity right there and then to go and get closer to their goals. They choose to stay there. They choose to sit there and slack. This is everything that you do not want to be. And now that you're looking at yourself as a black and white image, a photograph on that wall framed, you've taken that part of you away from yourself. That is not you anymore. It's a photograph of a slacker on the wall. That is not you anymore. Now what I want you to do is I want you to imagine the whole place start swirling and materializing into a place, a time when you used to love to draw, when you could not get enough it might have to you might have to go back to when you were six seven years old with your eyes still closed imagine this time in your life imagine this time in your life when you were drawing not because it was work not because it was an assignment but because you wanted to draw because you loved drawing imagine those crayons there it might be finger painting or something like that you are just genuinely interested in drawing for the sake of drawing the sake of art the sake of painting imagine the colors there imagine the smells around you it might be your mom cooking it might be the crayons imagine the sounds during that time might be your little dog, your childhood pet. You know, it might be your favorite TV show during that time on TV as you are drawing. You are in a nice place, a happy place. The love of art is there. It's oozing out of you. This curious person is just so into the art, all about exploring and learning and not for any kind of assignment, not for work, for yourself. Now what I want you to do is I want you to step out of yourself. So now you're looking at that person, might be a child, you're looking at that person right in front of you. That is you when you loved to draw. You're so close that you could put your hand on the person's shoulder. 